Welcome to this tutorial showing you how to create a piece of artwork in response to the artist Leslie DeRose. And you'll see in Photopia, I have already opened up a square project by going to New and choosing Print and A4 and then making sure that the height and the width are the same, 297, pressing Enter and then pressing Create. Okay, and that leaves you with this new project area. I've also opened up a map and a photograph of a bicycle on white. And the first thing I'm going to do is use the rectangle select tool to select the whole of the map. Press Control C to copy it and then Control V to paste it into my project. And use the arrow tool to resize the map to the size of the project. Okay. Then next up, I'm going to my bicycle. And I'm going to use the rectangle select tool again and I'm going to hold shift so I make a square and I'm going to mask off an area that I find interesting just move it into position before pressing ctrl C to copy it and then pressing ctrl V to paste it into my project it's very small so I'm just going to use the arrow tool to stretch it to the outer edges so it's the same size as the project Okay, if your image is a little bit blurry at this point, don't worry, that's not going to be a problem. Okay, next up, I'm going to get the magic wand tool and I'm going to make sure that contiguous is not checked. And that means that when I click on the white, everywhere that's white gets masked off. Okay, then I'm going to go back to my map layer and I'll make my bike invisible so you can see. And I just press delete and it deletes everywhere that I've masked off, so I'm left with the bike in map form. Okay, and then I'm going to double click on the layer and I'm going to go to stroke and it's going to add a line around the whole of the image and I've got it about 20 pixels and I'm keeping it red, although you can change it to whatever color you like. Okay, next up, I'm going to grab the magic wand tool again and select the same areas as before. This time I'm going to click onto my background layer and using the color picker, I'm gonna choose a blue color, like a middle blue, and then with the paint bucket and making sure contiguous is ticked off, I'm going to fill all of those areas with that blue color. Okay, I'm then gonna grab the masking tool again and this time I'm going to make sure that contiguous is ticked on and I'm going to select one of those blue areas and go image adjustments brightness contrast and bring the contrast up a bit and the brightness down a bit to make the area a bit darker. And then I'm going to choose another section with the magic wand and do the same again image adjustments brightness contrast and bring the brightness right down. And essentially, I'm going to keep doing this with all of the blue sections, changing them to either be lighter or darker, so that each section is a different shade of blue. Okay. So this time, image adjustments, brightness, contrast. This time, I'm going to make this area a lot lighter. image adjustments and lighter down here too. And then I'll do one more area just down the bottom here, image adjustments, brightness, contrast, and I'll make this really dark down here. Okay, so once you're happy that you've changed all the areas that you want to change lighter and darker, one thing you might like to do is to add some texture to the piece to make it more like Leslie DeRose's work. Um, and I found this on Google by Googling paint texture. And I'm just going to use the rectangle select tool and shift key to select a square. Press control C to copy it and then control V to paste it into my project. And I'm just bringing the layer up so I can see it. And then I'm going to use the arrow tool to resize it so it fits over the whole of the project. And then when I'm happy with that, I'm going to go to 
the drop down menu above the layers and I'm going to choose linear burn which is going to make the layer blend into the layers below and look like the image has the painted texture. Okay, and that is this piece done and dusted. I hope you find this tutorial helpful.